In this video, we're going to go over how to use the stop prompt. And stop is really only effective if you want to produce some sort of kind of like degraded or blurry sort of image. So basically a uh, prompt that you provide takes you all the way to the highest level of quality that's intended. Stop stops that process somewhere beforehand. So if I said something like, uh, imagine, and we'll say a horse, um, highly detailed, photo, realistic, I say stop um, 30. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do that again. I'll say stop 60, and I'm gonna say stop 80. And then we'll check out the uh, results and we'll see kind of what the difference is here in just a second. So to check these out, I have stop 30, which means 30% of the way it just stopped. So you'll kind of see some representation of something like this. Generally, when you're spinning the prompts up in Discord, you'll see like before it gets to 100, some sort of version like this before it's ready. So you see it makes it like super unfinished and blurry kind of dreamlike sort of thing, right? Um, this is stop 60, so it's a little bit further down the line, but you see the detail is not there. And then if you go up to stop 80, you see we, we got much farther, um, but the detail wasn't all the way lined out. So the pixels, they're not all the way there. And if I go over here to, I just did one with no stop, you see lots more detail, pretty much you know, as intended, we could tweak the prompt a little bit to in, introduce more detail with a like a like a 8K prompt or whatever. Um, but this gives you an example of what stop does. Now, in my mind, stop is just useful if you want to get um, just the degraded or blurry quality for some sort of texture or something of that nature. Um, kind of a niche. Uh, case, uh, but sort of just, you know, up to you how you use it. Just know that it is an option um, that can be used. But hope this was helpful. See you in the next video.